Hello and welcome to the channel. In what appears to be a subtle endorsement, Governor Yen Somwike of River State has said that the whole Progressives Congress APC presidential candidate Bola Ahmed Tinubu has the character needed to rule Nigeria. Tinubu had, after campaigning in the River State capital, Port Harcourt, paid a courtesy visit to the governor, and there both men extolled each other's virtues. Wike stated that he had no apology for anyone in saying that the former Lagos state governor, based on his character, would be a good leader for Nigeria, stressing that Tinubu had never for once changed parties, and that takes a certain kind of courage and guts. Tinubu, on his part, had nothing but good things to say about Wike too, praising his character as well and for being a forthright leader. It has been speculated for some time that the Rivers governor will pitch his tent with Bola Tinubu after falling out with the PDP candidate Atiku Abubakar. Well, looks like the mud rains have been through all along and the cart is finally out of the bag. I guess we'll have to wait and see what this alliance will mean going forward. If both men coming together will be productive on the long run. As the saying goes, now only time go talk as election don't reach grand finish. Subscribe, like, share and comment. Thank you. No apologies. Tinubu has character required for Nigeria. We care. Ahead of the presidential elections, Governor Yensom Wike has said that all Progressives Congress APC presidential candidate Bola Ahmed Sinyubu possesses the character and courage required for Nigeria. Ahead of the presidential elections, Governor Yensom Wike has said that the whole Progressives Congress APC presidential candidate Bola Ahmed Sinyubu possesses the character and courage required for Nigeria. Wike, who received Tinubu at the government house Port Harcourt shortly after the APC candidate campaign rally for Rivers Wednesday, said he owes nobody apologies for making the declarative endorsement while wishing Tinubu luck in his presidential bid. The Rivers governor, however, charged Tinubu not to encourage further funding on the APC Guba candidate in Rivers, Tony Cole saying he has no chance against Simina Lai Fubara, candidate of the People's Democratic Party PDP, who WK projects to succeed him. The governor acknowledged that Tinibu, the former Lagos governor, had never changed political party and holds firm to what he believes in, just as he revealed that he copied some of WK's governorship policies that have brought him praise particularly quality welfare for judicial officers from the policies of Tinibu when he was Lagos governor. I have no apology to anybody to say nobody born of a woman can intimidate me. You have never changed party one day. That tells of your character and courage, and that is what we require in this country, the Rivers governor told Tinibu. But let me advise you, don't spend any more money on your governorship candidate here in Rivers, he added, stressing that he doesn't stand a chance against the PDP candidate. Wike castigated PDP presidential candidate Atiku Abubakar for lacking character in switching political parties and not being a promise keeper in the agreement to let party chairmanship go to South when he won the party ticket. On the worsening trouble with the Central Bank of Nigeria CBN currency redesign, Wike said, Governor of CBN is disrespecting Supreme Court, whereas it happened in democracy. Supreme Court said do not do this and everybody is folding hands, begging CBN to obey the Supreme Court. If the Supreme Court is not to be obeyed, what are you telling the people? Tinubu had told Wike that they were Two political leaders of a kind in being fearless, consistent in character, law-abiding, and not changing political platform against the hordes. You never advocated the vision or breakup of our country. All your advocacy is about sharing of the cake we bake together. We are here to campaign on the philosophy you brought about when you said let power shift to the south. Apparently hammering Atiku for vacillating between the PDP and APC, Tinubu told Wike, I do not want to abuse anybody. I'm not here. 
to campaign, it is because of your character, your belief and faith that when we came to Port Harcourt to campaign, we said we must pay you a courtesy visit. Subscribe, like, share and comment. Also, turn the notification bell on. Thank you. Meanwhile, former Minister of Transportation and leader of the Hull Progressives Congress, APC in River State, is conspicuously absent in Port Harcourt about now as the presidential campaign rally of Bola Hakmetinibu for the state gets underway. Tinubu was ushered into the Yakubu Gowon Stadium, a.k.a. Liberation Stadium, by Rivers APC Guba candidate Tony Cole as dignitaries march into the podium for the whole important rally now gradually peaking. In the absence of Amechi, leaders have raised some concerns over the perceived failure of the former minister to let go of the animosity generated between him and the candidate following the torchy presidential primary of the APC last year. Dismissing Ameshi's absence has borne out of any hill feeling towards Tinubu, however, Darlington Noahuju, spokesman Rivers APC, told Vanguard, For those not aware, the former transportation minister is a law school student attending to his academics. While campaigning at the rally yesterday in Port Harcourt, Tinubu told the people he was not in River State looking for fish or crayfish but to seek power to usher in prosperity to safeguard their inheritance. Tinubu spoke to supporters at the Yakubu Gowon Stadium with Minister of Transportation and APC leader in Rivers. Tinubu told the people, Here we are in the rivers. It is not fish we are looking for. It is not the crayfish we are looking for. We have it in Lagos too. What we are looking for is authority. Authority to change your lives for prosperity power and mandate to give you the best of life, to take care of your inheritance, to make sure all of you, particularly the youths, are empowered to have the best skills in the world that can manufacture and produce things other countries want, things that can be produced for export from Nigeria, that can make Nigeria a nation of prosperity, joy and happiness beyond one day. Without our own factories, without better utilization of our ports, without peace and stability, we cannot achieve those aims and dreams. We want you to take your lives seriously beyond politics. I will become your president by power of your votes. Make sure you have your PVCs. Make sure your votes and ballots are ready. You will vote for me as your president, and I pray one day you will be president too. Dot the news, guys. Thanks for listening. Until next time. Bye.